Hi. A couple months ago, well, there's just a little story to this, and it's a good story. I had a rendezvous with a music group that I really like, and I'm a conductor and pianist, and I really enjoy the rendezvous with other really tuned in, tapped in, turned on musicians that are really making a difference. And Logical is, isn't it, in terms of how much airtime you give to that logical that you would find compatibility there logical yeah. yeah and it was so much so that the high from that was like I never there was a time when I never thought I would meet these people and I had a chance to talk with them a bit and invite them to come to Sacramento for a joint concert type thing and the high from that was like oh my god this is just really I've not had anything really quite that elevated before don't okay. lose your place in there but we okay. just want to ask a question for clarification the idea of that was pretty wonderful but once the vibration turned to the idea and the emotion and turned to something more are you saying it even gets better <laughs> is that what you're saying are you saying that the longer you allow the momentum of your desires Oh, yeah. Are you telling us that it's more fun to go really fast than slower? Fast than slow. I got to hear that one more time. Sorry. Well, we're just talking about momentum. In other words, mm -hmm. when you have non-resistance and in the absence of resistance, which happens a lot to those like you who are involved in music and so forth, because you're in non-resistant places, that's mm -hmm. why it's all flowing to you. So you stay there quite a bit. So in that absence of resistance, ideas occur to you. Well, at first, when those ideas occur, you throw gravel on your trail because they're famous and how could I do that? But because you spend a lot of time in that non-resistant place, that idea perseveres, that idea stays, that idea continues to expand, that idea continues to grow until that idea begins to feel kind of familiar to you. And as it does, you are less resistant about it because the momentum of it, momentum gets rid of resistance. It just does. Haven't you noticed that? Mm -hmm. Don't you find that, that if there's more momentum, that the resistance is less significant. Right. So then the inspiration to act led to something more and when you're actually experiencing it the high that you got from that now we want to talk about what that high is mm -hmm. the alignment that I got from alignment those oh, yeah. are the words the alignment that I got from alignment the alignment that I got from non-resistance the high that I got from non-resistance want to use the terminology so that you understand mm -hmm. what you were actually affecting what you were actually creating. So now, where are you in the story? So I come back and I'm in the midst of putting shows together and things, and I find myself not as high when I'm confronted with all the details that come forth to make these things happen. Because in the theory, there was nothing to worry about. In the dream, there was no reality to fix. In the idea of it, there mm. was nothing to overcome. But this is what we want to convey to you. There never is anything to overcome. It's a flawed premise. It's from arguing for limitations, mm -hmm. practicing those limitations. So we have some questions for you. Which is the path of least resistance? I have all the time in the world to make things the way I want them to be. I'm limited in time. The first one which is the path of least resistance it's really more important than ever before to get this right this isn't more important than other things I always care about how things unfold which is the path of least resistance this matters more so I'm less capable Ooh, yeah that's <laughs> or I'm as capable as I've ever been and if I weren't capable for this it wouldn't be unfolding Mm -hmm. This wouldn't be mine to experience if I were not ready. Hmm, I like that a lot. <laughs> Isn't it getting more and more obvious about how you throw stuff on your trail? Yeah. And it's okay because those are beliefs that you have held that the new momentum is pointing out. Because when you're going slow, you can navigate around obstacles. When you're going fast, 
they need to be out of the way yeah. if you're going five miles an hour and you hit a tree no big deal <laughs> going 100 miles an hour and you hit a tree it's a problem <laughs> bigger problem so what's the path of least resistance I'm ready for this or it would not be how could this be I'm not ready for this what? now see oddly enough I feel like I'm ready for it because I'm so in tuned and alive or all right so which is the path of least resistance I can do this but it's gonna be hard this is gonna be the most fun thing I've ever done <laughs> you get to play it out any way you want because we know you know you're ready you're just not ready for it to be easy most of you are not ready for things to be easy especially big things big things shouldn't be easy big things should be hard no the bigger they are the easier they ought to be because of the momentum of them you see Ooh, that was big that was big that was big okay so okay that was really good actually so coming out of that here's another area where I tend to notice my resistance let's put it that way and yeah, I all and I face. question okay what's that it was all over your face <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, okay. here's another okay I'm gonna backtrack because we talked about further earlier back in like 20 years ago I would spend hours at the piano and just practicing and it felt like inspiration found me it did and now I'm feeling like I'm looking for it rather so than let's just use some different words just to break some things loose I spent hours at the piano practicing or I spent hours at the piano in the pleasure of the music yeah okay because there's a difference I did it for the joy or I did it for the improvement <laughs> in the beginning when the stakes are lower it's just fiddling around just enjoying it but then you make the stakes higher as you decide that you're professional or as you compare yourself with others or as you start vying for positions you see mm. and so resistance resistance and you know it you hear it you see the interviews you hear the interviews of them the people who are really excelling are those who are having the most enjoyable time doing it here's something that is really interesting we're going to clear something up for all of you once <laughs> and for all we're going to explain something you're gonna really like this so everyone who excels has much more ease and joy in their life otherwise they wouldn't be excelling in that way so somehow they find the magic formula in most cases it's easy to say they found a way to please themselves and they hooked on to their powerful stream and path and they accomplished mightily and then the world looks at them a world who for the most part doesn't understand and then they tell you a story that isn't real they tell you how hard they worked because they don't want you to feel bad they start emphasizing oh yeah I used to be out on that trail I was working every night staying in those hotels hardly had anything to eat had to eat the bread off the room service tray on the floor <laughs> because they're taking the path of least resistance with you they know you want what they've got they know you're not ready to get what they've got they know you're jealous of what they've got so they create something that is not true and could not have been true they emphasize the part that was the least of them in order to explain to you how they got what you want Wow! don't listen to them listen to your own guidance you do not have a happy ending to an unhappy journey it defies law you see so the sooner you decide to give yourself a break and start enjoying what you're doing however it takes to do it and it's way easier haven't we established how much easier it is to do over here when it's thought than over here when there's all kinds of things that you're responding to you see Esther said the other day after a series of things amplified the vibration that she had going on hear that after a series of yeah. unwanted things amplified the vibration that she had going on I'm gonna get in a hot air balloon I'm just gonna float away far away there's it just felt so good the idea of just rising above 
the details that felt like she could not control and we say that's what you got to do because when you're trying to wrestle details that you can't control to the ground and kill them they just get bigger there's no bottom to it you put that brush fire out and there's one over there and you put that one out and there's one over there and you put that one out that's what feeling like you've got too much to do is all about that's that feeling of overwhelmment you know the feeling of clicking into it and that power pouring through you well the weird thing is like I'll lead a rehearsal with 80 singers and I've gotten to where I really rely on Abraham we get this little thing going on on and I step on the podium and things come out of my mouth that I don't even know I didn't even plan on saying that's because you're in the receptive mode mm -hmm. and the path of least resistance is occurring to you and what's a value for those 80 people to receive from you is inspired from that broader point of knowing mm -hmm. you don't need to know the details and I totally feel that and yeah. know that in that particular setting yes but we when like I where you're going with step this. off the podium yeah. but you see that's why we really enjoy interacting with artists because in order for your creativity to flow and for you to really excel you have to have found the path of least resistance and we're just saying you found it relative to your art you can find it relative to everything else because it's exactly the same thing there are people that relative to something that they've become very good at if someone wants to criticize them they will not hear it mm -hmm. they will not have a discussion that dis detracts or distracts them from the clarity of what they know and yet they'll talk about all kinds of other negative things that don't have anything to do with that mm. but that's the protected gem that's the protected important thing you see and what we want you to acknowledge is that it all is precious alignment no matter what the subject is precious and it's worth hocus pocus focus mm. it is it's I worth caring about